Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Heads or Tails. Beloved family, our text says, The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top and never the bottom. Deuteronomy 28, 13. I love numbers. Probability and statistics were my major in college. One day, our professor flipped a coin and it came up heads. He did so again and again and it came up heads. Then he said the probability of heads is 50% or one half, meaning the more you flip the coin, the closer you get to a 50-50 chance of it being heads or tails. Before a football game, the two captains of the opposing teams meet the judge in the center of the field. He flips a coin and asks them to choose head or tail. The team knows they have a 50-50 chance of winning the coin toss. I could take the same coin and put hot or cold on either side, or put life or death on either side. There are inherently only two outcomes, not a third. King Jesus Christ says, I know your deeds. You are neither hot nor cold. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Revelation 3, 15 to 16. We cannot have it both ways. Choose life or death, not both. The Lord, according to our text today, will make you the head and not the tail. That is, if you are obedient to his word and accept and listen to his Christ. Interesting word that Moses uses here. As a child, when we didn't want to do something, our parents had to make us or force us to do it because we all have a tendency to be in disobedience. God is saying, if I don't make you the head, you may choose or become the tail by default. Okay, let me give you some scripture to consider. Lucifer was one of the most beautiful angels God created. Ezekiel 28 says this about him. You were the seal of perfection, full of rising and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adorned you. So what happened that Lucifer became Satan? The account of Ezekiel tells us you were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to the earth. I made a spectacle of you before kings. Ezekiel 28, 15. Now listen to this. Revelation 12 says, Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. Lucifer was a head that God made with beauty and splendor. But he became the tail called the dragon and pulled down a host of angels with him. Whenever we are on top and let pride make us believe that we made it on our own and the glory belongs to us, then pride must go before our fall. And then once we fall, we tend to pull everyone else down with us. I am speaking from experience. All the successes in my life, God allowed. I even recall praying to him for them. But once I succeeded, others fed my ego and pride made me keep all the credit. I started believing my success was all about me. Head represents authority in the Bible. When Lucifer tried to take over God's authority or head, he was thrown to the earth. This is why he went after Adam's authority. He wanted to get his headship back again. And Adam became the tail when he disobeyed God and obeyed Satan and gave up his head and authority. But praise God, Jesus Christ came back to earth to make us the head and not the tail again. This is what restoration means to restore us to our original position. 
Most created beings have a head, body, and tail. Some people say they want God to be the head, yet still they want to be in control. That's lukewarm thinking. Others yet want more than one head. The dragon or Satan has seven heads and ten horns, Revelation 12, 3. He is trying to have perfect royal headship and authority. Seven means perfection and ten means complete. But family, only the Lord God can make us the head. We can't do it on our own. The seven-headed dragon of Satan depicts perfect confusion. A storm is a created thing. A hurricane has a head, eye, or body, and tail. The head leads the storm, followed by the eye, which is the most peaceful part of the storm. It makes us believe the storm is over, but devastation of the tail is yet to come. I pray that the tail of this pandemic we're in is not worse than the head, because right now the leaders are making people believe that we are in the clear when we might just be in the eye of the storm. Don't leave life to a 50-50 chance. Eternal life is not a coin toss. It's your birthright if you choose. The judge will examine your life to see which side of the coin you are on. Eternal life and unity in his presence or eternal separation from God. My beloved family, I'm going to ask you plainly, do you know the head of your life? Is his name Lord Yeshua, King Jesus Christ? Is he your Redeemer, Savior, and King? Many of us know the tale of our lives. He's wreaking havoc daily. He is seeking you and I to kill and destroy. But I'm here this morning to offer the bread of life to you today. This is not a religious moment, but a relationship one. Repent. Change your mind about who you will serve. Let's confess. Heavenly Father, you are a good Father. Thanks for saving my life and giving me eternal life through believing and confessing that your Son, King Jesus Christ, came back to purchase my life, sealed and signed with his blood. I will no longer live selfishly for my own will, but according to the will of you, Father. In the name of the Lamb and Christ of God, Lord Yeshua, King Jesus Christ. Amen. You and I are now not just family, but royal kingdom family. Let's be the head and not the tail. Much love.